Hello, and welcome to Realusion Hints and Tips. Special Effects, Particles, Custom Environment, Particle Settings, with Scene Interaction, Tornado. Using the new Special Effects interface, along with a template VNS file, such as Twister, you can add particle settings to take your particles through the roof. Really? Any element is possible to create and control in iClone 2.0. Now your projects can range from a light drizzle to an F4 touchdown. The new particle interface allows you to choose from presets which setting best fits the scene or effect. In this tutorial, we will apply a few default particles to different elements in the project shown above. Applying the twister particle to a default 3D block and then editing its settings to create a very realistic tornado complete with custom motion animation. Also, adding the fog, fire, and rain particle effects into the scene to display the overall power and versatility of the special effects section. These methods are achieved in 23 easy to follow steps, so let's go ahead and get started. In step one, download or open the Tornado Project VNS file to follow along with this tutorial. For a specific path, please reference the Word file included with this tutorial. After downloading and placing your file, you should locate it in the Custom Project tab. This will already have a preset scene complete with destruction animation ready for environment particles to be added. Go to Special Effects Particle Template Miscellaneous Folder and then Twister and double click to activate. Play to review. Step number two. To change or edit the color of your new twister, you will need to go to Modify, Locate Color, Start Color, and then set Start Color to a dark gray, and click OK. Then set the opacity equal to 95. And for end color, select a black gray and then select OK. Then set your opacity to 34. This is to make your twister darker. Select play for review. Now you can see our tornado is now black. Use this step to change your tornado to any color that you like. Step number three, scroll down and locate the size portion of the menu. Editing this section will make your tornado wider and give it a fuller look and shape. Change the end width and height settings. Change width to 1500 and change height to 1000. Increasing their values to make the end or the top of our particle appear wider. Press play for review. Notice the top or the end. Step number four, locate the rotate portion of the menu and change the initial angle from zero to 90 and the angular velocity. Leave the minimum setting at 60 and change the maximum setting to 300 doubling its value. Press play for review and notice the thickness and the change in velocity and the slight change in angle. Step number five will thicken and give the cloud its trademark dark funnel look. Select the play button for review after completing this step as well. Scroll down and under the emitter setting portion of the menu find the emit rate.
change it to 75 per second. Then change the spread to 100 versus 10. Press play once again to review. Now you can see we actually have a very thick tornado with a very strong spin motion to it. Step number six, go to scene, props, template, 3D blocks folder, use the plus icon to see all the folders, and locate ball underscore 001. Double click. Notice that a ball will be placed under the porch barely where you can see it in our file. This object will be used as a dummy object, meaning it will not be seen but will be animated and used as the controller for our particle. Step number seven, go to special effects, particle, modify, scroll up to the top under the effects portion of the menu, locate the link to setting, and then click on the arrow to roll out the menu and select ball underscore double zero one. This will link our twister emitter particle to our ball double o one prop. Press play for review and as you can see starting from the ball's base is where our particle is now attached. Step number eight, click on start to return to the beginning of the file, then go to scene, props, modify, and then make sure that ball underscore 001 is selected by clicking the bullet point beside it. Open the timeline by clicking the timeline button, make sure you're on frame one, and then under the move portion of the menu set the following coordinates set them to 1000 500 16 under rotate set this to 60 300 and then 0 this gives our tornado its beginning position in the sky ready to be animated dropping down play for review Step 10, type in 845 to the current frame field. Change the vertical setting in the adjust portion of the menu from 100 to 14. And then the forward back setting to negative 100. This will create a motion for your funnel cloud to advance across the field towards the house. Click play for review. Step number 11. To make the tornado advance in scene, type in frame 867 into the current frame field and change all three move settings in the adjust portion of the menu to 927 negative 47 and negative 92 This will create motion animation for your funnel cloud to advance into the foreground.
click play for review. Step number 12. To make the tornado move across the scene, you only have to complete this next step using the adjust settings. Type in 1600 into the current frame field. and then change all three move settings once again to negative fifteen hundred negative ninety eight and one hundred fifty this will create a motion for your funnel cloud to move from right to left destroying the house and its path of devastation click play for review For now you can turn off your timeline. Step 13, go to Special Effects, Particle, Template, Fire and Smoke, and choose Hellfire. Double click to activate. Play for review. Step 14, you will need to attach the Hellfire particle to the prop in the scene which you want to affect go to modify at the top locate the link to portion of the menu under the effect section click the rollout area then select house 01 click to attach this will attach our hellfire particle to our house 1 prop step 15 to make sure our particle begins on time you must set the emitter setting start frame. Scroll down until you find the emitter set, set until you find the emitter setting section of the menu. Locate the start frame and set it to 928. Make sure that repeat is checked. This will give the illusion of an explosion happening exactly at frame 928. Step 16, go to Special Effects, Particle, Template, Environment, Rain. Double click to activate. This will add rain to our scene. Play for review. Step 17, go to Modify, scroll down and again find the Emitter Setting portion of the menu and locate the Quota section. Set it at 9000 instead of 90,000 by taking away one zero. This will take out portions of the rain so to not slow down the animation of the project. Select play for review. Step number 18. Go to special effects, particle, template, environment. Locate fog and double click to activate. This will add fog to our scene. Click play to review. Step 19, go to Modify, Locate Color by scrolling down, set the start color to a medium gray, then select OK, and then select the opacity set to 93. For end color, select a light gray, select OK and then set the opacity all the way up to 255. 
This will change the color of your fog. Press play for review. Step number 20. Go to Special Effects, Particle, Template, Fire and Smoke, select Big Smoke, and double click to activate. This will add to the fire element in the scene. Step 21. Go to Modify, scroll up, locate the Link To portion of the menu under Effect, Click the arrow and select House 03. This will attach our big smoke particle to our house. Step 22. Scroll down and find the emitter setting portion of the menu. And then set our start frame once again to 928 to correspond with our Hellfire setting from earlier. This will ensure that the smoke and the fire start at the same time. Click play for review. Step number 23. Go to Scene, Props, Scroll up, be sure that ball 001 is selected so that we may add an opacity map to make it disappear. Under the Generate UV and Map setting portion of the menu, select the Launch button. Once Photoshop is open, use hotkeys Control plus A to select all, and then Control plus the letter I for invert to invert our layer completely to black. Go to File, Save As, and then save your new file in a custom folder called Opacity Title Dummy Object. And JPEG format will be fine. Select Save. And OK with the image options set at 12. Go back to iClone. Simply click your folder icon and then navigate to your saved file. As you can see now our ball has totally disappeared due to a completely black opacity map, meaning completely invisible. Step number 24, go to Project, Custom, select the Project folder, then the Add button. Name and save your new file for use in the future. If you have any further questions on how to set custom particles for your own personal use in your next project, please feel free to contact Real Illusion Technical Support.